Welcome to this Windows and computer channel. And of course, we are taking a look at the latest build of Windows 10, build 18894. And this build was released on Wednesday, um, May 8. And basically, it's the latest build for 20H1, what is coming up next year yes you heard me next year and this is of course something that we've been pretty much looking at uh, for the past couple of months in insider builds and it's making us uh, wonder actually what's going to happen with the next version uh ranting a little bit of ranting from users actually a few users have been uh, kind of ranting with me saying you know what i'm a little tired that we're getting all these builds with very little new stuff in it. You're totally right. I am also in the same uh, the same build. I mean, you know, to keep insiders kind of up thick in, in interest, I think, you know, that's the one of the key things here. This would be fun to have a little more stuff. But anyways, you know, we got to do what we have and uh, continue on. So um, if you're waiting for some new features, just a little bit, but I don't have one of the main features that they've announced, which is the uh, new file explorer search. Uh, it hasn't appeared on my machine yet uh, when I do the search. So I guess uh, this eventually will roll out, but um, I don't know. Yes, yet I, I'm not sure I've got the uh, search or if it, if it is, well, it's what I've just seen because I tried it. A few times anyways we'll be looking at that and there's a couple of uh, narrator improvements and so on um, okay the install that I got to talk about it was very long I'm, I'm completely you know <laughs> uh, amazed at, at, at how long these installs are I mean they're so long that every time I I'm almost sure it's gonna fail you know but it doesn't it does install but the problem is it's very long uh, typically, this machine, like I said, is like a two-hour process for preparing itself to the update. And once it asks me to restart, which is the main phase, usually it's a 20-25 minute thing. But you know what? It took, I don't know, it took an hour and a half to two hours at least for that phase to actually complete. I was, I, I, I went back here about an hour, past an hour, thinking it was at the, you know, okay, we're in the log screen waiting for login. No, it was at like 64%. And I was like, what? This is so long. And some of you have actually confirmed that it was very long on your machines too. But not everybody. Some people are still saying, I got regular, uh, regular, you know, update speeds. I don't have anything uh, special in here. So uh, it's kind of interesting to see that some see this and others don't. I don't know what it has to do with But anyways. Apart from that, been using it, of course, all day today. It's been working really, really well. So I can't really complain about anything for the uh, for the, the operating system itself. It's very stable and I have no issues. So there's nothing bad in it, you know, actually for me. Um, what is new in here? Well, first there's the file explorer that is updated for some, not everybody. Some people have the file explorer updated. So what does that mean if the file explorer is updated? It's an improved search capability. So when you're doing a search uh, on the upper right of your file explorer window, there's a search box. And if you do a search in here, well, it actually will give you a list of stuff. Now, of course, it includes OneDrive components. So if you do um, a... Um, if you do your search here, it's going to give you a lot more details about maybe what you're uh, you're looking for. So if I do Windows, for example, here it should give me. So look at that; it's giving me all of this stuff. And um, yeah, okay, maybe I do have it. Maybe that's what it is, because I see that, for example, Earth, Wind, and Fire, because I typed Wind. Um, is in my OneDrive and not on this PC. So maybe this is what it is. Integration of um, OneDrive stuff and your PC and having all of that 
kind of uh, in one quick access through the file explorer so I, I guess this is probably it um, they say that so improve results let's say uh, increase consistency make it easier for your files over the next few days I'll be starting to roll out a new Win file explorer search experience now powered by Windows search the search the change will help integrate your OneDrive content online with traditional indexed results this rollout will start with a small percent and then we'll increase the rollout to more insiders as we validate the quality of the experience. So once you have the new experience, you type in File Explorer search box, you will now see a drop down populated uh, with suggested files at your fingertips that you can pick from. Well, I guess I got it. I guess that is what it explains here. And I do have results that come from OneDrive because the Earth, Wind and Fire songs that I got there are not on my PC here. So they're on OneDrive. So I guess I'm maybe part of the small percentage that have this. Uh, do I like it? Yeah, why not? You know, I mean, I use OneDrive. So of course, getting results from OneDrive and PC, why not? I think that's not a bad idea. Um, maybe what I would like though is a separation, kind of something telling me that what I'm getting is from OneDrive and my PC. Because here there's no real indication of what's on OneDrive and what's not. I think maybe that would be something that I'd like to have fixed. So um, apart from that, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, kind of improve search results and stuff. That's okay, I guess. Why not? Uh, there's some accessibility improvements. So uh, if you're using Narrator, one of the problems with Narrator, and it's been so long that it's been like that, is it's... It, often has difficulty reading on certain types of content and um, depending on how it's formatted and what it looks like sometimes narrator doesn't do a good job well table reading improvements narrator more efficient when reading tables so header information is not repeated when navigating within the same row or column you know that's good because one of the annoying things I mean I don't use narrator because I don't need it but I do Every time I did try it to test out something, one of the things I find annoying is how it repeats titles and stuff that you're like, what? I, I mean, for somebody that, you know, is visually impaired, for example, that must be so annoying. Uh, they really need to do a, a better job, and that's for sure. So that's kind of improvements that you have here. Uh, narrator web page summary. There's a new command in Narrator that gives you a web page summary. Uh, so it will give information about hyperlinks, landmarks, and headings. And finally, magnifier text cursor settings. The Windows magnifier has a new ability to keep the text cursor in the center of the screen, making it easier and smoother to type. So, uh, okay, and it's apparently on by default. So that's pretty much what we have there. And then there's the changes, improvements, and of course the known issues that are uh, out there. So uh, one of the things to know, if you're a user of the Your Phone app, um, due to an OS bug, Your Phone app will not work on this build, 18.8.9.4. So um, basically, if you're on this build, Your Phone app doesn't work. That's pretty much what they say. And uh, of course, they're talking about the anti-cheat software problems and so on, that actually uh, is a problem with partners. That means it's not a Windows issue uh, because a lot of people are ranting. I know gamers are ranting about that. Problem isn't Windows. Problem is the creator of the games that you're playing. They're the ones that need to update. So talk to uh, that company. Don't don't bash Microsoft. It's the creator of the entire cheat software that need to update their software. So I've got a great experience. I hope you do too. Why not give your own comments? How uh, did your build go? How is it going? And do you like it? Uh, even though there's not a lot of stuff to talk about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos on this channel.